Welcome to the Design Fusion Solid Edge blog. In this release, we're going to look at auto dimensioning in 3D PMI. In SE 2023, Solid Edge introduced the auto dimensioning in the advanced PMI add on. This allows you to dimension your part and sheet metal components quickly. Users can save their own scheme with tolerance and hole callout strings and users can dimension the whole model or selected features. This is not available in the assembly environment. When you first launch the command, you have the opportunity to specify properties for your dimensions before generating them. In the Auto Dimension Properties dialog, we have Save Settings, so you can save these specified properties. In SE 2023, the command supports identifications of planar faces parallel to the datum, all types of hole features, and round features. Also in SE 2023, you only have support for ordinate dimensions. Support for slots and other enhancements has been added to SE 2024. Let's first have a look at this command in Solid Edge 2023. The new auto dimensioning command is found on the PMI ribbon bar. And if you don't have a license, it'll be ghosted out. I do have a license, so I'll activate the license. And notice it's now showing up. When you select the command, the auto dimensioning properties dialog appears. You can select your feature types for location dimensions, and you can select your dimension types. Currently, only ordinate dimensions are available. You can create size dimensions or attach hole counts, etc. Let's go to the next tab. Here you can predefine standard tolerances. On the datum tab, you can create a datum frame annotation and control how it looks. And then we have our feature callouts and our smart depth callouts. You can save these settings, but I'm just going to click OK. And then I have to define three datums, and they all have to be perpendicular to each other. For the first datum, I'll select this top face. For the second datum, I'll zoom in, and I'll select this side face. And for the third datum plane, I'll select this side face right here. Once I've selected the three datums, I hit Finish. And I'll go to my top view, and you can see the results of the auto dimensioning. Remember, these are PMI dimensions, so in the ordered environment, they come out in the magenta color. Notice the dimensions contain the hole counts, the tolerances, the overall sizes, the date and frame annotations, all of which were defined in my properties. Let's undo this command, and we'll run it a second time, but this time we'll make a few changes to the properties. I'll first turn off the create size dimensions because I don't want an overall size dimension. I'm going to turn off all the tolerances because I don't want to show any of the tolerances. And I don't want to show any of the datum frame annotations either. I'll say OK to this. I now have to reselect my three datum planes. I'll select the same three that I selected previously. Once I've selected these, I'll click Finish. I'll go back to my top view, and you can see the results. The Auto Dimension command has been enhanced in Solid Edge 2024. These enhancements include the ability to auto dimension the location and size dimensions for slots created with the slot command. The total count is now added on any radial or fillet dimensions. Chamfer features can be dimensioned now using the auto dimension command, including added support for total quantity count. Plus, users no longer have to select three datums for the command to work. This allows users to auto dimension turn parts. Additional enhancements include the ability to auto dimension the location and size dimensions for oval cutouts. As alluded to in the previous slide, the total count is now added on chamfer dimensions. 
SE2024 has improved the placement of size and location dimensions. The placement of whole size dimensions has also been improved. Furthermore, size and location dimensions are placed on different sides of the part to improve dimension display. Let's have a quick look at some of these enhancements in Solid Edge 2024. Solid Edge 2024 enhances the auto dimension command by adding total count for round and fillet dimensions and better size and placement of dimensions. We can quickly auto dimension this part with the default settings by picking the needed planes. Once done, we can see that now we get a total count of rounds, unlike before where we got separate dimensions for each round. Also notice that the size and placement of dimensions are much cleaner. Other auto dimension enhancements include the new stack dimension option and total count for chamfers. We can quickly auto dimension this part and pick the stacked option from the setting and then quickly pick the required planes for the auto dimension process. Once done, we can see that now we get a total count of chamfers and all dimensions have been added using the stacked style. Solid Edge 2024 also adds the ability to auto dimension slots. In this example, we will see the stacked auto dimension in action. From settings, we can quickly pick the stacked option. Then we can select the needed three planes for the auto dimension process. Once done, you'll notice that all the dimensions are stacked since that's the option we picked in the auto dimension command. Furthermore, we can see that the auto dimension has given us a size and location dimension for all the slots. A few other noteworthy enhancements to the auto dimension command are that users can now select individual features using the manual feature selection option. As with other features, users can hold down the control key to select additional features or hold down the shift key to deselect an individual feature. Users can also retrieve chamfer dimensions from the part environment into the draft environment using the retrieve dimensions command. Want to learn more about Solid Edge? Check out our online training page at the site listed here. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1-877-215-1883.